Could this four-legged robo-dog eventually replace guide dogs? Its Swiss developers are testing its ability to navigate the real world and keep a blind or visually impaired person safe. And they say it could have applications even beyond that. The team at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology say they've put together a commercially available robotic dog and their own sensors and software. Researcher Davide Plotza explains how it works. Now we are using a two-dimensional LiDAR and also uh, depth cameras, which means our cameras that also see, that both see the pictures, RGB images, but also the depth. So you can create a, a, a depth map of the environment. You can create a map on the spot and then can decide which is the best path to take to, to reach the target. And also in the meantime, it can avoid dynamic obstacles, like if a, some people or some other obstacles show up, which were unexpected, the system can um, successfully avoid them. The team says the robo-dogs can be programmed to perform specific tasks in environments it's never seen before, unlike real dogs. That means it could also work to do things like help the elderly or survey damaged buildings. Professor Michele Magno. We can have robots that are helping old um, people. We are having uh, some uh, different kind of robots that uh, can uh, be used for uh, uh, crack detection, actually, the, uh, in, in, the, in the buildings. For example, we are also working on uh, making automatic detection of um, damage in structure. So I think the same te technology can be used in, uh, in a different kind of applications. So Despite the potential of such a robo-dog, even the team acknowledges how hard it would be to give up the real thing. So I think this robot can really overperform the dogs, but also can overperform humans and can be really helpful. But uh, me personally, I will still buy a dog.